it's literally threatening my life. Kimberly Muse isn't talking about the stage four cervical cancer she's battling. She's talking about the roadblocks in the way of the one thing she says is saving her life. It feels like month after month the access to that treatment is getting threatened by these, by these restrictions for non-essential travel. Muse travels to California every month to take part in a clinical trial. She sent us this video en route. Made it to Seattle. Hey. There's the Space Needle. Driving from Vancouver to Seattle, she then catches a flight to Los Angeles. 24 hours later, after her appointment, she returns home to a 14-day mandatory quarantine. It was already taking a toll on her family when suddenly last week, more rules were announced. And then with the most recent COVID testing, we started looking at the logistics around the COVID tests and what the implications would be and how that could potentially make me miss my flights. Ottawa previously denied her an exemption as an essential traveler. Now she fears the new requirement to quarantine at a hotel for three nights at her own expense will make the burden too much to bear. And she's not alone. We're getting caught in the middle of a logistical nightmare. Anna Nayarati is in a similar position, traveling to the U.S. every three weeks for colon cancer treatments. I've got my UV sanitizer. She took this video while finishing her most recent quarantine at home. As soon as the two weeks are up, she heads straight back to the States. We need to travel. Ours is for an essential service. And there are other Canadians that are in my position where at one point or another, the deadlines don't meet and they'll have to miss their medical treatments. So far, the federal government says there will only be very limited exceptions to the hotel quarantine requirements. Health Canada says more details on the new measures will be provided in the coming days. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.